New information tonight concerning Dothan Utility. Central Square indicated to Dothan City officials that it does not have sufficient information to conclude if there was actually a security breach. The city filed a claim with its insurance carrier who advised that the city contacts a legal firm and a forensic analyst for the computer system to determine if the attack did result in a breach. Sarah Drake has more. This afternoon, the Dothan City Commission approved contracts with law firm Mullen Coughlin and cybersecurity firm Charles River Associates that will start them down the path of determining if a breach on click to gov did occur and what process needs to be taken. We want to be cautious. We want to protect the public. Uh, we want to protect our uh, customers for our utility service, and we want to do the right thing. And uh, so we think pursuing this action with our insurance carrier, hiring experts in the field, uh, is the right course of action. While the hacks have left some customers upset, one's upset for a different reason. I don't know what's going on, but I just want to understand why the light bills be so high. Because it's, you know, it's affecting the elderly, it's affecting, it's affecting a lot of people, you know, with high light bills. I just want to come to agreement why do the light bills be so high. When asked in what case the city would decide to pursue litigation against Central Square, Cowper says that he can't answer that question right now. We're gathering information and um, you know, consulting with our own legal team, with the city and with the experts that, that we've hired. So I just don't have enough uh, information at, at, at this point. The commissioners did enter into executive session to discuss if they want to take further action against Central Square. In Dothan, Sarah Drake, WDHN. As of now, we do not know what city officials decided during their executive session.